Hey everyone, Sam here. I just wanted to make a quick video because they've finally added it. We now have the two massive hidden abilities on two new ones, and it's I think it's going to change PvP quite a bit because they've added Drought Nine Tails and Drizzle Politoed with the Big Johto update. They are now alphas that you can uh, get on the the typical alpha cycle. They'll be able to appear once a day, uh, not more than once a day. So it's a, it's a random alpha. So obviously uh, there's a chance not to get Polytoed on Nine Tails, so you might have to wait a while to get one. But as they have already been spawned in, you can see that if you just quickly check the market, you could already get your hands on these easily. Like for 40k or 50k, you can get yourself a Drizzle Polytoed, and then the same will be for around Nine Tails, meaning you can start breeding up for your Sun Team very, very. Uh, soon. Oh, <laughs> I say soon. Basically straight away. Is Nine Tiles going to appear? Oh, I'm, I'm spelling it Nine Tiles, that's why. But there you go, there you go. There's the Drought Nine Tiles as well. Oh, no. That's Flashfire one. It, well, we can see there's Drought Nine Tiles because I've got three on the screen anyway. But, this is going to be absolutely massive PvP because previous to this update, only Torkoal and Pelipper had... Uh, access to these uh, weather abilities, but now we have two new ones, and Ponytoad is notorious for being insane on rain teams. And Ninetales, while not as strong in terms of the role they play, is still going to be much better than Torkoal, I believe. It also plays a completely different role, because if we look at the base stats of these mons, let's have a look at Ponytoad. Look, 100 special defense, 90 HP, this is a very good special wall. If you give it calm, and then something like, I think one of these have Amnesia. Yeah, we've got Amnesia down here. You've got Earth Power, you've got Hydro Pump, you've got Ice Pump. You've got amazing coverage on this uh, on this mod. You've also got access to Skull to burn things. You can Haze to like stall out Pokemon. This is a very, very strong mod. In terms of the 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 sunny side of things, if we look at Ninetales, then you can see the base stats here of 100 Special Defense as well, as well as 100 base speed, which is very, very good. For something that's going to be setting up sun. That means that Ninetales <laughs> is potentially able to like revenge kill things as well. Especially with uh, 81 special attack isn't the highest. But it does have access to nasty plot as well. I think that we're going to be say seeing a lot of calm polytoads. I think all of these are calm. There might be one timid. Yes, yeah, so this one's timid. But most of the time you're going to be seeing a lot of calm polytoads. So very specially defensive ones. This one's not invested yet. Uh, this would be a bit of a niche I think to try and catch things out. I would much much more... Uh, expect the the calm special defense if variant just because it's so pivotal to a team you want to keep your your weather mon around as long as you can i am however seeing a lot of timid nine tails all of these are timid obviously there hasn't been much time to allow it to affect the meta that much but if we look at the move sets nine tails does have the possibility to actually run like a calm special set which would be really really good because well you can kind of have like some... Does Ninetales get access to recovery? I'm not too sure. Let's have a look. It gets safeguard, which isn't exactly recovery, but friends. Uh, status. Okay, so no, because it wouldn't be a TM. It can't be a TM. Is it an egg move? Flower how Memento. No, it does get Memento. No, you wouldn't want to use Memento to completely honest. You could use Pain Split. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Ninetales use Pain Split. You get Hypnosis, which is quite nice. But Ninetales' moveset is really, really diverse. You get extra sensory, you got uh, hypnosis, you just get that at the start, flamethrower, nasty plot, quick attack priority if you want it. You got raw, uh, I know it gets sub. You got hex, which is interesting. There's so many moves that this one gets. It's, it's really strange to have such a diverse uh, mon, especially it's so fast and has such high special defense. I know its HP stat isn't the best, but if you give it calm, it kind of works in a way against rain teams in a sense because a lot of them are going to be special to an extent. Mm, maybe not of Kabutops. I guess some people run physical Kingdra as well, but it's not that popular. But actually, let's let's stop guessing and have a look. So if we look at Kingdra. This is always going to be used on rain teams because of Swift Swim. Yeah, a lot of these are special. Yeah, you get one percent admin. This thing's a special one. And if you run Calm with that 100 uh, base special defense, surely you'll be able to tank a Surf. 
I don't actually know. You'd have to count this. If someone could count this and put it in the comments to let me know, that would be very interesting. Could a nine tails that is calm HP and spec death investment be able to tank a specs surf scold or hydro pump and then you can calc it for rain or sun to see if it would be able to survive because obviously it's weak to water as well so I assume in rain it wouldn't be able to but if you t if you make the switch into nine tails to reset sun it should be able to live a hit which would be actually massive in basically countering rain teams to an extent but the only issue is then you would uh, kind of expect Polito to come in because you would obviously be switching in that case, I believe. Unless, because Nine Tails also gets access to Solar Beam, so you could do it on the switch and then Solar Beam, providing you could live like two Scolds or something, which would be very, very interesting. But yeah, for anyone who played Gen Five, I know weather was permanent in that Gen, and obviously it's not now. Uh, but you can slap like a, a damp rock, a heat rock on these Mon to extend your weather and it's just going to be really interesting because there's so many different ways this could go nine tiles i would expect to be more offense but i would i would like to see some calm ones coming into the mix i think obviously johto's very very new so nobody has a clue what's going to happen other than I'm, I'm pretty certain polito's already dead set in that calm kind of role that big tanky role because it is going to tank absolutely everything and they just slap a damp rock on it and then you just keep switching in and there's nothing to stop you from running Pelipper and Politoed for two runners, uh, weather runners. So I don't know why you wouldn't do that either, because Pelipper is also a very good physical mon. So you could have that as your physical wall, and then Politoed as your special wall, because they kind of complement each other in that sense. In terms of Nine Tails and Torkoal, you could do it. I guess it's a similar kind of dynamic with physical, physically defensive and specially defensive. Hmm. I think you would, but I don't know too much about sun teams if i'm completely honest so i didn't play gen 5 pvp myself i just know it's notorious for weather wars and but i mean you can already see some kind of like weather wars in poke not necessarily weather wars but it's always rain versus sand in pokemon i believe and the sand is only there to counter rain so it's really just rain dominating at this point but yeah i just wanted to make a quick video just so everyone's aware these are now available so if you're interested in running rain or sun teams to well now is the perfect time to get started let me know what you think about these uh, abilities and if you're happy about these being added or if you're upset that they're being added because you think it'll change the meta too much let me know down in the comments like and subscribe if you like this content and it will give me uh, an idea that you want to see more of it and if you want to catch me live for streams on any kind of questions you may have then you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash samax and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i look forward to seeing you all again very soon bye bye